Hey there, my quilty friends. I love receiving messages and questions from you. The most common question I have been receiving lately is how I prepare my fabrics for piecing. So today we're going to talk about what I believe is one of the most important steps in quilting, and that's properly preparing your fabric. If you want to create a beautiful, long lasting quilt, you need to start with high quality, well prepared fabric. So are you ready to learn the secrets to getting perfectly crisp and clean fabric for your next quilting project? If so, let's get started. In this video, we'll be talking about the benefits of starching your fabric, and I'll show you how I like to starch and prepare my fabric for perfect piecing every time. I also have a great blog article for you to go along with this video that has even more tips on fabric preparation. The link for that is in the description below. I want to start off by telling you that I'll be comparing some different products today and giving you different approaches. However, I will be sharing my experiences and what works for me. So take that with a grain of salt. These methods and products may not be for everyone. I hope that you find the information helpful too though but make sure and stay till the end to find out exactly how I prepare my fabrics every time I piece. Okay, now that we've covered the intro, let's jump in. First things first, let's talk about why you should consider starching your fabric. Starching fabric before cutting adds body and stiffness to the fabric, making it much easier to handle and cut. Starching your fabric can also reduce fraying and stretching as you're piecing your blocks and help your finished project hold its shape. You'll also notice that it helps throughout the entire piecing process. It can also help if you're going to be cutting and sewing fabrics on the bias, like this half square triangle that I made with the 32 at a time method. If you'd like more on that video, I've linked that here for you. And I've also linked a video that I have about how starch can help you with working with fabric cut and sewn on the bias. Now, starching fabric is purely a personal preference. It's not a requirement and it's not something that you feel like you should have to do. But I am a firm believer in starch and that's because I've seen the difference in my piecing when I starch and when I don't. So if you don't already, try it and see if you like it. Now that we understand the reasons behind starching our fabrics, let's talk about the most common types of starch and fabric sprays used in quilting. The first starch option that I want to talk about is Mary Ellen's Best Press. And this is a very common product among quilters. It is a clear starch and they have various scents. This one is actually scent free. One of the reasons that I don't use this as much is because I find that there is still a scent that sometimes doesn't completely agree with me. So I don't use it as much, but you can see that I've used almost all of this bottle. It is a great product. It doesn't leave any residue on your fabric. And I find that it gives the fabric a nice structure and stiffness to it. Not over stiff as you may see in some of the other products that I'm going to talk about, but it is a really great option if you're looking for a more eco-friendly starch as well. The next product that I want to talk about is Flatter. This is not actually a starch, but it is a smoothing spray. This is best used when you are piecing your blocks and you want to use something to help your blocks lie a bit flatter. So you would have a block and then spray this as you were pressing your seam allowances and it helps your blocks lie much flatter. And I do love this product, but I will tell you about my preferred method for starching my fabrics ahead of time. And so when I do that, then I find that I don't need this. I typically will use this when I am working with pre-cuts. And that is because I do not starch my pre-cuts, but then as I'm building a quilt block, I need something that will help strengthen the fabric and give it some stiffness. And so I'll use this instead. So this is a great option for that purpose as well. And any discussion about starch would not be complete without talking about just good old fashioned regular faultless spray starch. 
This is obviously something you could use with your clothes, anything like that, but it also helps with quilt blocks as well. So when I use this, it's typically before I cut my fabric, I will spray the fabric, then iron it. This gives it a very heavy, stiff finish. It's not too stiff to work with, but it is a great way to give your fabric some structure, especially if you're working with fabrics that may stretch or if you will be working on the bias, this is a great option. Something that you can find in most grocery stores. And so the availability also helps as well. Now it's time for a little tip and secret of my favorite way to prepare my fabrics for piecing. I use liquid stay flow starch. This is a very large bottle. And what I do is I have a misting bottle that I've gotten off Amazon. I will link it in the description and I mix half of the stay flow mixture and half distilled water in this bottle. The reason that I love this spray bottle is because it gives it a nice fine mist. It doesn't spray all over the place and it doesn't oversaturate either. I just keep this next to my ironing board and use this almost exclusively in my piecing. I find that it gives the fabric a, a nice stiff, not overly stiff feel to it. The structure really improves my piecing. It can leave some flaking. However, I have found that not oversaturating the fabric and then also making sure that you spray on one side flip the fabric over and then iron on the opposite side will help avoid that flaking as well. But this is my number one go-to for preparing my fabric before piecing. This stay flow I find at my grocery store and this bottle, as I mentioned, when I'm mixing it with the distilled water, lasts me a really long time. Also, if you want a really nice stiff feel to your fabrics, you can completely submerge your fabrics in the stay flow. I have done this before where I just have a small plastic tub that I can put on my bathroom counter, put my fabric in it, and then completely submerge it in the mixture of either straight stay flow, or you can also do the distilled water mixture. That completely saturates your fabric. And then what I like to do is hang that dry. I have a laundry rack that I use in my bathroom as well and then I hang dry the fabric. Typically what I will do, I have another misting bottle that has just distilled water in it. And after that fabric dries, I just give it a little light mist with just the distilled water. And then it gets some of those wrinkles out from the drying process. And you'll have some nice stiff fabric ready for piecing. And it gives such great structure to your fabric. As I mentioned before, if you're working with fabrics that might have some stretch to it, or you're going to be working on the bias, giving your fabric the structure really makes a difference. And then I also love the Magic Brand Premium Quilting and Crafting Spray. And this is actually made by Faultless. And initially I wondered if it was just the usual faultless starch just with a different label, but the ingredients are actually a little bit different. And I find that I don't get any flakes when I use this and the fragrance is a bit lighter as well. This is a great option if you want just a, a typical starch spray as well. The only thing that I don't like is this bottle is a 15 ounce bottle. It can get kind of expensive if you're like me and I starch almost every single thing that I sew. The only thing I don't starch are pre-cuts. And so if you're making a lot of projects or larger projects, then it can get kind of expensive if you're using this. So that's really one of the main downsides to using this in my opinion. Otherwise, it's a great option for a starch. Before I cut my yardage, I always starch it with one of those methods. And I find that it gives my fabric more structure. I find that my cuts are cleaner and the piecing of my blocks is much more accurate when I starch. So that just goes towards proper fabric preparation in my opinion. So before I cut this yardage, we're going to prepare this. Now, a lot of people will ask if I pre-wash my fabrics and um, my answer is unfortunately it depends. If I'm using a higher quality quilting fabric, then I typically do not pre-wash unless I'm using like colors like red and white together or something that I'm really worried will bleed, then I will pre-wash. Otherwise, I usually don't, and then I just use a few color catchers in the wash with the final quilt. So before I cut my yardage, as I mentioned, I like to starch everything. 
And what I like to do is spray my starch mixture on one side and then I iron on the opposite side. So I'll just take this section here and I do this so that I can make sure there is no flaking or any residue even though it's soaking through my fabric, I have just found that it really eliminates any issues with flaking. So that wraps up our chat about starch and fabric preparation. Don't forget to check out my blog article for this video with even more tips on fabric preparation. I hope these tips were helpful. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for me. And if you want to see more tips like this and other quilty materials, subscribe to my channel to get all the goodies all the time. So until next time, keep on sewing and creating. Bye for now. <laughs>